Susanna DeBanca, according to your report, more women are feeling confident about their retirement. Give me the numbers. It's amazing. Women are reporting that they're feeling more financially confident about their retirement than ever before. 24% of women saying they feel, are saying they feel very confident and 44% saying somewhat. So when you total that, overall women are really feeling pretty good. Still, they may be confident, but they don't feel prepared financially, according to the survey. So what are they doing to get prepared? Well, what we're finding out is they're actually not doing very much to get prepared. In this study, we found out that 66% of women say they're really not doing very much at all. And when we drill down into what does that mean, we're finding that a lot of women are not contributing anything to an employee-sponsored retirement plan. They're not saving in other types of vehicles, and they're not even really sure what that number is that they need in order to retire. All right, so there's something missing there because they feel confident, but they're not prepared. So what are they doing to get prepared? Well, we know what we'd like them to do in order to get over this disconnect, and that's to actually start thinking about what retirement is going to look like, which they're pretty good at, and then create a plan, a written financial plan so that they have a roadmap, and then start to actually save and fund that plan so that they can get on track to have that retirement that they really want. What are the challenges unique to women when it comes to retirement? There are a number of challenges um, that women face that are different than the ones that men have. First of all, we live longer. On average, uh, we're going to live to age 80, and so we have to fund a retirement that's going to be at least 15 years. Now, of course, there's a wage gap. Historically, we've earned less than men have. Um, and then we're often in and out of the workforce. So that's interrupted our savings, whether that's for um, childbearing, child rearing, or now with aging parents, a lot of caregiving. That's really hurt our ability to sock money away in our savings plans. All right, so you're a woman and you're behind on your planning. You feel like you're behind the eight ball. So how do you get started? What can you do to start thinking about retirement, put a plan in place? I guess we have New Year's coming up. What should your resolution be? Well, there's a couple of different steps that you can take. And the first one is to just get the facts. Know what it is that you need. What year are you gonna retire? How much money do you need? And what is your situation? What do you have right now? Number two, create that written financial plan I talked about. Get that down on paper so that you do have a couple of different roadmap steps that you can take. And then third, start taking action put money into some different vehicles, look at your risk management, and monitor that plan and adjust it. And then that'll be, that'll be good. You'll be setting on track.